Who is ready to clean, clear, organize and sort for the new year? I know I am. I'm Re from mummyof4.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking down the Christmas trees. I'm putting away Christmas jumpers. I'm cleaning. I'm clearing. I'm saying goodbye to Christmas. We've had a very lovely Christmas, but it is time to feel fresh and clean and clear and organized for the new year who is with me. So we've got three Christmas trees we've got to take down, we've got lots of ornaments we need to pack away. I have been collecting over the last few days Christmas jumpers, Christmas towels, everything that's been coming out of the wash, Christmas socks, Christmas costumes, all the things that we do not need to see again until the end of 2024. So I've got a massive pile of just stuff in my bedroom that I need to sort and organize so that I can go up the attic. Like I said, the trees have got to come down. I've got to find all the wreaths and just the bits of stuff around the house that need to be put away. We're going to be doing all of that. I've got some new storage, which I'm obviously very excited about because I'm 40 now and that's my life. I'm very excited about the new way I'm going to store the stuff for Christmas. I'm going to show you all of that. So without further ado, let's make a start, I guess. I've brought down from the attic the boxes and things that the Christmas stuff went into last year. I've got some new storage bits to put it into. So let's just get it all out, make a bit more of a mess, and then we can get clean and clear for the beginning of an amazing 2024. So we've brought in all of these boxes. We need to, I guess the best thing to do is do it layer by layer. So we've found all the, the stuff that we need to pack things away into. Shall we do the playroom tree first so that we yeah. can clear the playroom? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need, if we clear the playroom tree and then bring everything into here, we've just messed one room, we can clean that and we'll get sorted. And that way, if you guys wanna go and play once we finish taking the rest of the ornaments off, you can go and play and I can carry on. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we need, what do we need? These bauble boxes first for the playroom. If we take the baubles and the lights off the tree, we can carry it in here to sort it out, can't we? Mm -hmm. Plan? Yeah. It's a plan. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. Time to take the lights off this tree and I just find the easiest way is a little bit of wrapping paper, tubing, bit of a slit in it and we'll wrap it round and round there and that's a gift to future us. So the lights will be easy to do in 
because they just keep them nicely when I put them up in the attic, stop them getting broken. We did have a slight incident with Ariel. Her legs have fallen off, but then Ariel is the princess that has issues with wanting legs, not having legs. So I guess that's very on brand for her. We're going to have to um, see if my husband can glue her legs back on before we stick her in the attic. Kids, I think I'm gonna leave you wrapping this up. I'm gonna go yeah. and vacuum the playroom so that at least one room is done. And then we'll do finish tackling this tree, get those delicate ones packed away, tackle the dining room tree, and then I can start tackling the bedroom, which is where all of the organizing really needs to happen because there's just so much to do in there. progress is being made even though it now feels like the place has been turned into a dumping ground but never mind the trees are all down and I couldn't figure out why all the trees don't fit back into the bags and then I remembered one of them ripped and I threw it out so we are short of a tree bag for this tree so I've got to figure that out some reason all of the um like the delicate ornaments don't fit but I seem to remember 
I got these out of one of the Christmas lounge fly bags that went in the attic and I wrapped them in, well in fact some of them are new so that's why they didn't fit but um, I know this, like this one for example wasn't new, I think this was wrapped in a t-shirt in a bag so I'm going to go and find those to wrap those up. The, tr the advent house has to go away, that has to go away and all these little ballerinas have to go away. Um, yeah, we ha I guess we've just had extra ornaments. That's why it doesn't all fit back as neatly. Not sure. It always, almost feels like at the end of a holiday when nothing goes back in the case properly and nothing's quite fitting. But I have got some extra storage bags. Where have I put those? Found them. They were stashed in my office. Now these are the same as the bags I had for Bella's bed. If you saw Bella's organizing her room, new bed vlog, uh, she's got an ottoman bed now and I've got these big storage bags underneath. And I like them so much, I bought a bigger pack and they're in the black and clear color. They came in bigger packs and they were better value, so I got these, so they're only for the attic. Um, so these I thought were quite good because some things like the presents, like the light up presents and things, I would just put in the attic in a bag and then my husband's like oh what if insects got in it what if a mouse got in I'm like there's a mouse in the attic is there a mouse in the attic oh. but then I got really paranoid then about like what if things got into Christmas decorations he just made me overthink it so these are all zippable I've also got I'll show you when we go upstairs a lot more of these for um, Christmas jumpers and things because traditionally I've been using vacuum sealing bags to put things up the attic the two problems. One, when you fill a massive vacuum seal bag, it's really heavy to get up the loft. And then two, I find by the time I get the back down the loft, it's not vacuum sealed anymore, it's just a big bag. So I figured we'll just lean into it and use the big bags. But these seem like sensible size to get up and down the loft. I can see what's in them. So these I'm gonna mo use for a few Christmas decorations, but mostly towels, uh, Christmas bedding, Christmas jumpers and stuff I just don't wanna see until the next festive season. Tempting as it is to stay sitting here, need to keep plodding on. I, I am like cleaning as I go a little bit. I haven't done like a big deep clean because obviously there's still stuff everywhere. But the reason I keep vacuuming a little bit as I go is otherwise all the bits of like Christmas tree and glitter and stuff are just gonna be walked through the whole house. So I'm just trying to get up the worst of it then hopefully if I've got some energy at the end of today I will go back over and make the place clean and spritzed and but that depends if I run out of energy. I've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with you Yeah I'm on my way now this and we take it upstairs and have to start tackling the jumpers, towels, all the other Christmas stuff that needs to go up to the attic and be sorted.
I've been gathering this for, well, since Christmas Day really. Since Christmas Day I've been like, right, no more Christmas jumpers, let's wash them and put them away. So these are the dresses the girls wore Christmas Day from Disneyland Paris last year. As things have come out of the wash, they've just gone into baskets. Some of this stuff's a bit mishmashy, so I don't know if I need to repack it. Like there's pyjamas and there's jumpers, there's costumes. Future me would probably thank me for doing this properly and way at the bottom in a basket some stuff for packing for going away so I just need that kind of out of the way and just focus on the Christmas stuff. Okay some of this stuff needs repacking. Let's get as much of it as we can pack neatly into these bags ready for next Christmas. We collide, we break down Caving in to our doubts Faces filled with sadness When words are said we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Well, I'm um, probably exhausted now. <laughs> I have managed to bag up all of that stuff. I did resort it. I did pull it out of the bags I'd put it in. So I've now got one of stuff that's just the girls and one that's just pajamas and things. I can't find, I know I've washed them. I don't know what I've done with them though. So I need to find them before I put up the attic. We had like Christmas Mickey towels. I know I've washed them. They're not in with my other towels. I don't know where I've put them, but um, they need to be found. I do need to find some sort of solution for bagging up that tree because I'm one bag down. Um, but it's possible my husband will have something like that in his van. I know he has like big plastic bag things. Maybe I could pinch one of those when he gets back. And then I am gonna wait till he gets back. I could struggle all this stuff up the loft um, on my own. Um, the loft hatch is just outside my bedroom door. Um, but I'm not gonna because it will take a fraction of the time when he can just pass the stuff up to me. So um, for now, it can all just kind of wait there, but at least it's organized. The house is now back to neutral for the new year, just neutral, no trees. And we've had a lovely Christmas and I really enjoyed having the Christmas decorations up, but it feels so good to get like clear, clean, spacious. The children think it looks a bit bare and it always does look a little bit bare after Christmas, I think, but I'm kind of here for it. And in fact, it's really spurred me on. So we have got a big trip in January, um, which you'll know about if you follow me over my, my Mummy Before Does Disney channel. So we are going on, um, so there is a portion of January that I won't be here for. Um, there should still be content going out on my channel, um, but make sure you're following me over on my Disney Instagram just to catch up with that. But I've got to say, this I really do feel quite inspired right now to press ahead with the decluttering. So we moved into this house, in, so in April of 2024, we will have been here four years. And I really feel that as much as I decluttered loads to get here, I feel like the whole house needs a good declutter again. I need to massively declutter um, Zara's room, a little bit of Bella's room. I did a lot of Bella's room. I need to massively declutter William's room. I need to go back through the playroom. I did the office a year, probably two years ago, where I did a massive declutter. I need to do that again. So if you're here for decluttering, if you want to have some decluttering inspiration, make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on because there's going to be a lot of that stuff in the early-ish portion, maybe all of 2024, because I'm really feeling quite inspired to get a lot of that stuff done. And if you want to watch some of that decluttering stuff now, there is a whole playlist which I've put on screen. You can click on there for loads of decluttering inspiration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do those YouTube-y things, and you can check out some early release content and hang out with me a little bit more in my Patreon with details on screen. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.